Hello everyone and welcome to another video, quick one this time. Uh, this is about uh, another upgrade for this T480 laptop in this series. This time I want to upgrade this slot. As you can see, you have another slot you can use for eventually putting another SSD there. Now, I found this adapter on AliExpress and I was so happy with it that I want to recommend it to you. And it's basically helping you to use any dirt cheap SSD like this one I have here, which is a 22 by 30 uh, millimeters. Plus, it doesn't fit in the actual uh, slot there. Believe me, I tried and no matter what, it, it didn't fit. I don't know why. But uh, again, with this adapter, I managed to uh, put it in and it actually works and I will show you the numbers uh, in a bit but yeah uh, this basically what it does is just uh, converting your 22 by 30 in my case uh, SSD into a 2248 I think or for 2242 right now I, 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 I don't yeah it's 2242 and this is 22 wide by 42 millimeters high so basically yeah you just fit it like like so in the in the adapter until it clicks and after that you just put this um in the uh, on the on the motherboard like so and it as you can see it enters without any hassle it just fits nice and snug it is it just doesn't need any additional force or anything so in my case, again, it allowed me to use this dirty cheap uh, SSD to... Well, initially I wanted to install Linux on it, and I did, uh, because I wanted to make some tests and see, okay, this SSD actually works, or is just... Uh, not the SSD uh, per se, but the, the adapter actually works or what? Or is just maybe recognized it at some point, and after that it fails, and so on and so forth. So I did a bunch of tests, like... Uh, hibernating, uh, suspending the the PC, and you'll be pleased with the result. But uh, to say the least, it's it's dirt cheap, it's like under 3 euros, and it allows you to use this kind of SSD. And if you happen to have some of them around, or you have like a good offer or something like that, you can take advantage of it. Okay, so let's just uh, try it. What I did is actually on Windows I went and installed a benchmark tool for SSDs and the results in my case were uh, pretty surprising in my opinion given that this SSD I, it, it cost me like 10 euros or something like like that it someone gave me from a refurbished laptop or um, I think it was a Surface or something like that but I have another one from my old Steam Deck which I might use those are pretty quick keep in mind that these slots are pretty limited I think they're PCIe 3 uh, Gen Gen 3 or something like that and yeah after downloading the software to actually test it as you can see the results are uh, the following I think it has a pretty good uh, read uh, speed and the write speed is also not bad, yeah? But again, these are uh, NVMe Express 1.4. I think they're point, uh, X2 or X3. Yeah, so again, they're a little bit limited. Now, these other benchmarks here are from my main SSD, which is a Patriot, uh, one terabyte, which the Windows is installed on. And... Yeah, as you can see, the, the the speed here differs a little bit, but again, it's a pretty mid-range, maybe high-tier uh, SSD, so it's it's good. Now, what I did is I wanted to install Linux on it, on the, the new one, the one that uses the adapter, because I don't know if you experienced this, but at least in my in my experience, with Macs, at least, if you use any kind of adapters uh, with the old Intel Macs, you had issues with suspending, hibernating, and all that jazz. Now, this is not a Mac, of course. Uh, I'm using Linux, 
I'm using, uh, I'm downloading uh, an Arch, uh, not Arch, it's, uh, I think it's called Endeavor OS. Uh, I'm, I'm new to Linux, by the way, so uh, bear with me. Um, and yeah, I prepared the, the boot uh, USB and after booting into it and just um, installing it like, like you would normally do, right? Uh, the only thing here to take into account is that I selected the entire new disk, the one that uses the, the adapter for the uh, entire system for the um, Endeavor OS and everything went okay. I mean, I just needed to wait to install it. It's pretty straightforward. It's nothing complicated. It's not like Arch. I don't need to do anything fancy. Uh, and yeah, after installing it, I went and click on Hibernate, as you can see there. Yeah. And wait a little bit, waited. It takes a little bit of time. I don't know what's actually doing underneath. I suppose it's dumping stuff into the actual disk or something like that. But since uh, this uh, distro is pretty um, lightweight, now I'm trying to bring it back on, pushing all the buttons, does nothing. The only way to bring it back on is actually pushing the power button, as you you, you saw there. I'm working with the, the, the grab menu or the, the bootloader, yeah. So now you see it says restoring from hibernation. So that's pretty cool because it's actually, that means that our hibernation is working perfectly. And again, it's it's pretty responsive. I mean, for a 10 bucks, uh, dirty cheap SSD, it's nice. Let's just try also the sleep and see if with the sleep works. I wait a little bit, try to uh, wake it up, pushing the keyboard, nothing happens. Again, I need to push the power button. Maximum security, one, two, three password. And yeah, I mean, I also try to do the same without the power adapter, just in case. I know at least from my experience on Intel Max, uh, when you had the power connector uh, connected, you had a different experience uh, using this kind of adapters. But again, nothing strange over here. Works perfectly, at least on, on hibernation. Uh, no, sorry, on sleep. And now I'm trying the hibernate option. So it takes a little bit more, the hibernate, I assume because it dumps everything to the disks. Sorry, to the disk. But yeah, I mean, pretty functional. No strange stuff. Uh, I used it a little bit afterwards uh, to install some packages and, and so. As you can see, it says restoring from hibernation. Everything seems fine. So yeah, I mean, hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe and uh, I will add some more videos with this stuff. Thanks.